welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sat on the floor because today I'm gonna film my shoe collection. Actually, I really like this background, so I'm gonna use this again. Um, but I have a lot of shoes and I need to go through them and I need to get rid of some. So I thought instead of doing like a kind of, here's my perfect shoe collection, I'm gonna do like a, these are the shoes I have and I'll tell you if I'm gonna get rid of any or anything like that. I'm also gonna include my trainers. I did do a trainer collection video, which I will link down below for you guys. Um, I'm still gonna include them this in this. I'm gonna talk you through them, but I'm not gonna give you lots of detail about them because um, you can go and watch it in the trainer collection. So I will link that, like I said, down below. But without further ado, I'm gonna get straight into it because I have so many and I need to cut them down like majorly because well obviously at the moment i've not been wearing shoes and i'm really starting to realize the shoes that i like and the shoes that i probably should get rid of so yeah let's do this okay so i'm going to start with boots because i have a lot of boots and boots that i really don't wear so i wanted to take you through them okay first up are these vinyl boots they're really dusty because they've been sat on top of my wardrobe i never wear these but they're amazing. Um, I love these kind of style of boots. I think they're really cool. They're kind of quite 60s, but they are always like an amazing piece to style up in the winter, which is why I love these. I just don't get a lot of wear out of them. So these are like currently a maybe shoe. Um, I think they're really cool. And I think vinyl boots are something that um seem to come back around like every year and they are such a cool vibe especially in the winter so um these ones i'm definitely going to keep in my wardrobe i think they're definitely like a vital piece to a winter wardrobe um obviously not going to wear them in the summer they're not really very summer appropriate but very cool shoes these ones are from office i believe yeah i will try and link as many of these shoes below as i can or similar alternatives because i know a lot of these probably won't be available but um yeah so i love these i think they're a really lovely boot definitely a winter piece another pair of boots which are kind of a similar style are these ones which are from topshop um i bought these because i was like i really love this whole leather kind of boot vibe but i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not like the biggest fan of them anymore i really struggle with boots because i have a style of boot that i really, really like and i'll wear them and then i'll be like oh i could probably find something that i love more than this these were probably like about 80 pounds they weren't cheap but there's something about them i just i think it's this front paneling situation i just don't really love them that much yeah i'm tempted to sell these ones so i'm gonna put these in my maybe sell pile and we'll see but um yeah they're really lovely boots they're just not something that i'm i gravitated towards much over the winter months and i think it's important that the shoes i keep are shoes that i actually want to wear and not shoes that i'm just keeping for the sake of it do you know what I mean? Next is a pair of boots which I am 100% selling. But I wanted to include them because they're really lovely boots. And I'm really sad that they're not a pair of shoes that I wear a lot. And they look like these. I bought these at the start of winter. They're from Topshop. They're like a khaki suede boot. And in my head I was like, these are amazing. Like they'll look so good with like so many outfits. Because they're like more of a neutral colour. But I just don't wear them. I tried to make them work with my wardrobe and it just didn't work. So I think I'm going to sell them because otherwise if I hold on to them, I'm only not going to wear them next year. And they may come into fashion next year and I'll be like, damn, why didn't I not keep those? But I don't know. I just don't love them enough. And I think especially now I'm trying to make sure that I keep things that I am going to wear and not things that... I'm kind of like, mm, they're all right. Um, so I will be selling these ones. But they're very cute. They're an amazing pair of boots. I just don't think they're quite right for me because I rarely wear colourful shoes. And these aren't exactly colourful, but I mean, they class as colour. So yeah, those are going. Another pair of boots. These boots I bought, um, when did I buy these? Towards the end of winter, I think. You may recognise them. I put them in a haul these i bought to wear in the summer with like dresses and stuff obviously we're not currently really allowed to go and roam and enjoy the sun like we usually would so i haven't worn them that much i love these boots and i think they'll look great with dresses and a western boot is always a good one to go for because they are 
they're kind of like a style that always come back so i bought these knowing that i would get a lot of wear out of them in the future seasons and stuff so these are a definite keep of a seat in my wardrobe i love them um i think they're really really cool and they're from top shop so really really like good quality boots um i will try and link something similar because i don't think they sell these anymore but they are amazing and i love them um another pair of top shop boots are these ones which you probably will have seen if you watch my chunky boots video they were in that they are these they still sell these so i'll link them below i love these shoes they have become my favorite boots and if i'm going to go for a pair of boots it's going to be these i love them they have that kind of doc martin chunky boot style but they're just a little bit more affordable i think they're about 60 pounds um which isn't necessarily cheap but for a good pair of chunky boots really really good like i've worn them a lot and they're pretty good condition um Oh, one thing I will say, the laces aren't the best quality, but you can replace laces easy. So, yeah, they're really comfortable. They didn't hurt. Honestly, I love them so much. They're, like, literally my favourite pair of boots. I don't think anything will replace them anytime soon. Talking of chunky boots, I also have my good old trusty Doc Martens. So, I originally bought those chunky boots because I wanted the platform version of these um and i didn't want to spend the money on it and i'm glad i only bought those ones and not the doc martin ones um these are the classic doc martins i love these they are my babies i've had them for about a year now over a year now and i love them they're just a classic pair of shoes um i haven't worn them as much because those chunky boots have definitely taken over my life when it comes to shoes um but yeah these are classics i highly recommend doc martins they're amazing I love them and hopefully I'll get a bit more wear out of them over the summer months with like dresses and stuff because I love them they're just such a classic and you just can't beat a pair of Doc Martens talking of Doc Martens these are the last chunky boots I have to show you I promise are these ones which are from misguided um I bought them as a kind of I want to see what these are like um I've really quickly realised that white boots are not for me. I'm not really a white boots kind of person. I'm a white trainer person, but not really a white boot kind of person. So these are actually going to go. Um, it's sad because they are really cool and they're really affordable, but I just don't think they're for me. And um, yeah, they're going to go. But I will link these below. I think they still sell these. Another pair of boots. Sorry, I have so many pairs of boots. Are these ones, which are from Top Shop. They're about two years old no maybe yeah two years old maybe i'm not sure um i love these these are my favorite black boots like in terms of like little black boots these are my favorites which is why i'm thinking of selling those like super high ones i showed you at the start um they don't sell these anymore but when they did sell them i was like oh, these are amazing they sell like different versions of these boots every year um and they're just a really classic black boot small heel they're comfortable they're just amazing i just love them um i can't really say much else about them they're really comfortable leather i love these so these are like one of my favorite pairs of like just classic black boots like they aren't anything crazy special but they're just classic and simple and if i wanted that look i'd go for those another pair of boots that i've not had a chance to wear yet are these babies which are from mango um i got these again to wear in the summer with dresses hopefully i'll get a chance to wear them i just think they're really really cute like a western boot again it's such a classic i'll be able to wear them in the winter anyway if i don't get to wear them in the summer so it's not the end of the world um but they're a lovely pair of boots and like they're a lovely quality they're a beautiful suede um yeah they are so nice like they're such a classic boot and i think when it comes to western boots you can afford to buy into them because they do come around like pretty much every single year and if they don't come around one year they'll be back they'll be back at some point so yeah i love these and i'm sad that i haven't worn them but i'm excited to wear them so my last two pairs of boots are kind of boots but they're not boots if you know what i mean um so first up we have my sorel boots these i haven't really had a chance to wear i was hoping it would be really snowy at some point and i could wear them but it hasn't been so they haven't had the wear that they deserve um there are a pair of boots i don't wear like let's be completely honest i haven't worn them 
um but i don't think i'll be getting rid of them because i think they'll be useful for when it does become winter again and it is cold and i want something easy to wear if i'm like walking or whatever they're just a really lovely boot they're super comfortable i would recommend buying a pair of sorrel boots if you're looking to buy a pair or if you're going skiing or whatever they're a really lovely kind of shoe but i like i said i haven't worn them because it's not been cold enough to wear them and then these bad boys you will have seen if you watched my zara haul um they are from zara um i love them again i've not had a chance to wear these out because i bought them just before uh lockdown happened so yeah they haven't had the wear they deserve they still sell these so i'll link them below for you um beautiful shoes like they are just beautiful um like trainer boots do you know what i mean love them absolutely love them one of my favorites okay boots are done i'm now going to run through my trainers i'm not going to go into too much detail as i said before but i wanted to share them so that you could see all of my shoes all in one where do i start um uh, okay we'll start with the converse so you may or may not know i love my converse so i have a few pairs starting with these ones which are the leopard print ones i love these they're so cool they're not to everyone's taste but i love them and i think they're definitely a pair of shoes if you ever want to spice up a very simple outfit these are a really good one to go for um and i love them they're just i just love them so much they haven't had as much wear as i'd like but they are cool so those are converse number one then we have my pink ones which are probably my favorite converse aside from my most worn pair which i will show you in a minute um i just love them they just scream summer to me and i'm all here for summer shoes so those are those then i have my khaki ones which i don't actually wear too much but i love them so much um which is why i can part with those boots because i still have a khaki pair of shoes i can wear if i want the khaki look but yeah and finally i have my trusty black converse these ones i absolutely love i have been a black converse fan for years and i'm so like they're just such a classic and i can't express how much i love these but they're amazing i'm gonna do a styling video on these soon because um i just think every wardrobe needs a pair um but yeah those are my converse i love my converse i will probably have a bigger collection as time goes by because i love them so much also i'm really sorry if the lighting keeps going in and out it keeps being sunny and then not sunny so i apologize i can't really do too much about it um okay next up are my puma ralph sampson just got that right <laughs> um these are a really classic um white trainer they look really good with dresses they look really good with jeans they're a really kind of easy throw on kind of trainer and they'll look cool um i really like these i think they're really like easy to wear and i think sometimes you just need a trainer that's like not like super super fashion and it's just like an easy throw on looks cool and has like an easy like casual vibe which is what i quite like about trainers so i love these um definitely definitely a good trainer to buy into if you're um looking for like a simple pair of white trainers that's not like super trendy then these ones are a new pet which weren't featured in my um trainer collection um they look like this they are from sans matin i hope that's how you say it um these were kindly gifted to me and they're really cool they're just like a classic white style trainer and they've got these like um greek letters along the side i don't know if you can see that um and then they've got like a pony skin like situation down here i don't know if it's real pony skin or not but yeah these i really like again these have a, that very kind of easy throw on kind of look they're not um a pair of trainers that I necessarily would say are super super trendy but they are a classic and i think that's why i like them because they're just easy to wear and go with everything they're so similar to those um ralph Sampson ones in terms of like the style of trainer so yeah love 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 um another pair that i absolutely love um and you can't actually buy this color anymore are these bad boys these are the adidas samba rose trainers um they're very kind of like small trainers they're not big and chunky which i like sometimes you want that and i love the nude kind of look of them um yeah 
I love them. I don't think I can part with them anytime soon, even though they're like not necessarily a trendy trainer. I love them so much. Such a good trainer. Um, what next? Next up we have my Air Force. I haven't worn these because again, got them just before lockdown, so I haven't had a chance to wear them. But they are beautiful. Um, I don't think you can buy this shade anymore, but I will link the classic white ones down below for you guys um, because they're an amazing pair of shoes and such a, they're our trendy trainer, but they're amazing. I can't even express how much I love these and I'm sad I haven't worn them, but soon, soon, hopefully I'll get to wear them outside and it'll be all good. Then we have my, my favorite trainers of all time. My Balenciagas, you will have seen these in my trainer collection, so I'm not gonna go into them too much, but I bought this color first because I loved them and because I love them so much, I bought this color. I know it's excessive to have two pairs of Balenciaga trainers, but they are my most worn trainers and I love them. So yeah, but yeah, you can go and watch the trainer collection video if you wanna know a bit more about these um, because they're great. Okay, so my last two pairs of trainers are actually trainers that I'm going to sell slash donate because I don't wear them and it seems absolutely silly for me to keep them when I'm not wearing them. So, first up are these ones. They're just a classic white trainer from the high street. Um, I don't wear them, so they are going. I just don't see the point in keeping them. I'll try and sell them, but if no one wants them, I'll donate them, but yeah. They're just, I just don't wear them. And I think with trainers, I have to be really like um, specific with the ones I wanna keep because otherwise I will just keep them and then never wear them. And then we have these trainers, which are from PLT. Um, I just, I just haven't worn them. I don't see myself wearing them. And I just don't wanna keep hold of something like this that I'm not gonna wear, especially because I have my Balenciagas. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sell these ones too, but they're very cute. I think if you're looking for a cheap, chunky trainer these are a really really good one to go for but they're just not for me okay we are nearing the end of my shoe collection i'm now going to go into my sandals i do actually have a lot more sandals back home in the uk but i don't have them here with me so i can't share them with you um but maybe i'll do a new uh, like a another one of these when i do go back to the uk um if you like to see that but I'm gonna run through all of these sandals that I do have, because I do have a little selection. First up are these ones from H&M. You would have seen it in my H&M haul. Um, I love these. They're so cute. They're so summer. Um, they're adorable. They do them in a black and a rust, I think. So yeah, really cute trainers. Trainers, <laughs> sandals. I will link them below, like I said. They're very cute. I love them. Like they are, Probably my most favorite sandals that I have because they're so cute. Um, I also have these ones, which are very similar. I got these from Topshop um, a couple of years ago now. Um, they are a classic. I can't really wear them like to go anywhere because they always fall off my feet and they're quite uncomfortable in terms of walking. They're an easy like wear around the house kind of summer shoe, if you know what I mean. Like they're kind of like slippers, but to wear at home these ones are definitely a really good alternative if you like the look of these these ones are way more comfy and give the same kind of vibe so yeah these ones i only keep because i just love them i love the way they look they're just not very good for walking around in so yeah that is the reason why i'm keeping them um talking of slide on shoes i also have these ones these are from new look um and they're really, really cute i love them i think they're such a like a cheaper alternative to um, Birkenstocks. But unfortunately, they're too small for my feet. I'm a size five, always. Like, rarely ever go into a size six. And my feet are like uncomfortably, literally touching the end. And it's so uncomfortable, I can't wear them, it hurts my feet. So I'm actually gonna have to sell these, which is such a shame because they're so cute. And I think as like an easy throw on pair of sandals, these are really good, but they, they are just, I can't wear them like I genuinely can't physically put them on my feet without them hurting so sadly they're gonna have to go but they are very nice and very cute I will link them below for anyone who is interested because they're still available they just don't fit my feet maybe size up um or buy two sizes and see what fits your feet best because those 
are not the size that they say they are. Um, talking of slip on, slide on shoes, I also have my Havianas, which I love. Got my black pair, black pair, black, black pair, which are amazing. They're such a classic. Um, I don't really wear them other than like when it's super hot. Obviously it's not super hot right now, so I'm not wearing them, but love them. They're amazing. And I also have these ones, which are like a khaki kind of color with like a leopard print bottom. Um, sorry for the lighting guys. I do apologize. It's really going in and out, but it is what it is um but yeah i love these again these are a little bit more comfortable because they're like the thinner kind of strap whereas these ones are more thicker they're like the these are like the classic ones um but i used to have a pair of havianas that were white with a pink here and i loved them apart from the fact they got really grim um because they were white but yeah love my havianas they are a classic you can't be a pair of havianas in the summertime then we have these which i do think i may sell because i haven't even thought about wearing them um they are these espadrille kind of little shoes um with the wrap around bit that goes around your ankle um they're very cute they're super lightweight these are from primark um i just i just don't i haven't seen myself like every time i put them on i don't think they're very flattering um around my like legs i don't know i just I think I need to try them on and see and try and style them, but part of me is kind of like, I don't think I'm actually going to wear them that much. They were really affordable, and I think these kind of shoes are great for summer, and I have a heeled pair from Castagna. I'll link them below, and I'll put a picture here, um, which are so nice, but I don't have them here with me, and they were about £100, I think, and I love them. And I think I was trying to buy something that would kind of give that vibe, but these are just not it. I'm not really a flat kind of shoe person when it comes to things like this so yeah i think those might go but they're very cute and i think these shoes are really good to have in your summer wardrobe but they just don't really look that great on me so i think they might go okay so i've got four more pairs to show you and then we are done and i'm sorry this video has been super long <laughs> but first up we have these ones which are very not my style um in my head when i got them i was like yeah i can make them work i think they're really cool and actually they're really not very me because this is like a wood like a dark wood kind of fake it's not fake it's not real wood it's fake wood kind of um sole and they're super high i never wear heels this high um i love the color of them i think they're beautiful and i think that they're a lovely pair of shoes um i just i i struggle to style them they're really not very me so unfortunately these are going they're not staying in my shoe collection but they're very cute and i think for a pair of shoes you know they're great but they're just not for me they are just not for me <laughs> um okay so my last four pairs are like strappy sandals which are my favorite kind of shoe to wear in the summertime um i love them first up we have these ones which are from Topshop. they don't sell these anymore but h&m sell a pair that are very similar so i will link those below for you um they're just gorgeous they're just a white strappy sandal really i love the chunky kind of um heel um they're really really lovely like i just think a strappy sandal is great and a white pair instantly makes you look more tanned um so yeah i love them they're just such a classic and um i will not be selling these anytime soon i think they are getting a bit grubby from just where i've worn them so i need to keep like a lookout for that and make sure that like here i've got like marks on them which is a real shame but you know you can't see that so it's fine um so yeah i love these then i have these ones which i've posted on uh instagram a lot of people ask me about them but they're not available anymore um they're from h&m they're this gorgeous nude color um sandal like with the straps across the toe and then these bits like wrap around your ankle um and i love these i got these last summer from h&m love them they sell a cream pair very similar to this so i will link those below because um these shoes are stunning and they're such good quality and 
they're just a classic you know when you know that a pair of sandals will just get a lot of wear when i bought them last year i was like yeah i can see myself wearing them and because they're nude they extend my legs a little bit so they make me look a bit taller which i love so yeah these are probably my favorite oh my god favorite sandals I love them so much they're such a good pair of shoes and then lastly i have these ones from river island um they're like a snake skin kind of uh print i guess they've got like a plaited strap here and then a little strap over the toe um and the heel's really cute these i'm actually going to sell because they're not very comfortable around the toes and i'm usually not that fussed by like toe separator things it doesn't bother me but they're just not super comfortable and um i when it comes to sandals and shoes like this i have to make sure they're comfortable because otherwise i just find them irritating and i just don't wear them so i'm going to sell these babies but they are beautiful i think they still sell them so if anyone's interested i'll link them below but yeah they're just they're just not for me um but they are lovely do you know what i mean they're the shoes i look at them and i'm like they're so nice like i i like having them in my wardrobe but then i'm like i just don't think i'll wear them so yeah those are going to a new home so that is all of the shoes that i have that i own um there's a good few that i'm going to get rid of which is good um and when i put them back into my wardrobe which is over there i will hopefully maybe try and thin it out a little bit more fingers crossed um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video sorry if it was a bit too long um hopefully it wasn't too long for all of you and i will catch you all in my next video